Že rometi so v zadnjih letih eksponentno napredovali v smeri, da že rometi v vzniku osvetlijo kar največ ceste in njene okolice, pa hkrati nobenega ne zaslepijo. Toda tehnik v žargonu poimenovanih glare-free žarometov je več. Začelo se je z mehanskimi žarometi, ki so snob samo odmikali od nasproti vozečih avtomobilov. Na to smo dobili matrične žarometi, ki sploh še niso postali standard, pa je že na vidiku boljša tehnologija. Visoko ločljivostni žarometi. Naj vam jih demonstriramo. So the step after the camera detect an object is that you switch from your high beam, this is now part of this high beam, you switch to a mode where you create a tunnel. Maybe this is now a car which is really far away and now you spare out of your illumination this region in which the oncoming car is detected. And if this car is moving towards to you, you have to change the position on a curvy road. This is, this is possible. If your camera is able to do so, you can close the light about you, only spare out really the position where you detect the oncoming driver. Now, when you compare it to what we, what we have with, uh, with standard modules, then you see that we have here we are switching, switching more or less quite big blocks. Aha, so this is standard definition. This of the is a standard definition from a, from a matrix, a common matrix system. And now when we use back again, high definition lighting, then we have really this very smooth, very accurate adaptation of the tunnels. Prednosti žarometov visoke ločljivosti se veselijo tudi oblikovalci. When you look to this, this element, it is a light source which consists of 84 single LEDs. We introduced this in the year 2016 in the module you have in your hand at this moment. Let's say it's quite a big one, but at this moment it was able to generate out of this 84 LEDs glare-free high, high beam and uh, adaptive functionalities like swiveling of the light uh, and uh, motorway light, country light, and so on. Now we have the light source developed like this. You see the small region, the yellow region. Behind this yellow region, you have 16,000 single LEDs. Each of these LED has a size of 40 by 40 micrometers. They are below this yellow phosphor, and we can address and switch on and off and dim on and off each of these LEDs separately. And this is integrated in this lighting module, which is now in the headlamp of our test car. Pa ne gre samo zato, da ne zaslepimo sov deležence v prometu. Gre tudi za zabavne funkcije, kot je naprimer avto na atraktiven način zaželi dobro jutro in lahko noč. Še pomembnejše pa so varnostne funkcije. Avto lahko točkovno osvetli divjat ob cesti, pešca, kolesarja. Opozori lahko tudi na delo na cesti, na bližajoče se križišče, pa tudi na možnost poledice ali akvaplaninga. Na cesto pa lahko projecira tudi našo širino avtomobila. To je mi je najbolj presedetljivo, ne, da imaš občutek, tudi da je tvoje avto v štec svoj širok, ne, pa pa tole vidiš, v bistvu, ne, vidiš, da spoh ni. Ne. To je lahko tudi varnostno gledano zelo koristno podatek, recimo ob kakih zoženih ceste, ko cincamo ali bo naš avtomobil uspel peljati mimo orjaškega tovornjaka na desni in pa visoko betonsko ograja na levi strani. Filming. <laughs> 16.040x40 mikrometrov velikih diod je manj kot pa milijon pikslov, o katerih so nam pripovedovali inženiri pri Mercedes-Benzu in Audiju. Projektorske visoko ločljivostne loči so namreč na voljo v dveh tehnologijah. Tokrat preizkušeno SSL tehnologijo, torej primerjamo s tehnologijo DLP. Dynamic light processor ship uses in fact, significantly more mirrors. It's up to, to one million uh, mirrors, which can be switched on and off uh, to create 
the illumination. So in this lightning, the light is always on? The illumination of the mirror is, is always on. So even from efficient point of view, from uh, electrical power consumption, the micro LED solution, which we call solid state lighting, is a better way. And this module is, is smaller and uh, you have a higher performance level of peak intensities. You can use functionalities also inside towns due to the high, high illumination level. The technology is also cheaper? The technology is also cheaper. This technology has definitely a big potential for the future to, uh, to get in a, in a wide range of cars, also in the, in the lower uh, class, middle class and basic class uh, cars. So we see really the big future for, for high definition lighting inside the solid state lighting. V katerem dostopnem avtomobilu bodo projekcijski žarometi s tisočerimi mikrodiodami prvič na voljo, nam priheli niso želeli izdati. Vemo pa, da od to vrstnih žarometov nismo več oddaljeni pet let. Na voljo bodo k malu in ne, Porsche je bil zgolj testni avto. No, prispevek smo posneli na noč, ko so Helini inženirji v praksi primerili svojo delo s konkurencov. In na isti poti, ki smo jo tudi mi prevozili z modernimi žarometi, so Helini inženirji s svojimi profesionalnimi očmi videli več kot mi. Impresionirala pa ne se en avt ugotovitev in secer, da drag avto nujno še ne pomeni tudi boljših žarometov. Za vš naslednji klik pa tokrat predlagamo, da skupaj vstopimo v Helino tovarno v Ljubljansko tovarno.